of the water cooler conversation, really, the, the David Cullis comments, uh, uh, he apologised for being a man uh, at a family violence conference last week. Should he apologise? Does his apology distract from the real message? So first up, Louis Holbrook, what did you think? What did you think of his comments? And are you sorry for being a man? <laughs> Uh, I'm only sorry for being a man in my very darkest moments, Wallace. All right. But, uh, <laughs> and what are they? If, what are your darkest <laughs> moments? I wouldn't share those with you. It's very okay. personal. But, I mean, if, if Cunliffe truly is sorry for being a man, that's fine. It's the year 2014. We live in a liberal society. He can get a sex change. That's okay. But the, the fact that he hasn't, the fact that he hasn't seems to suggest that he's being disingenuous in some way. Isn't that really belittling? Isn't that sort of putting down a very strong, clear message? No, no, nobody should be sorry no, no, for no. who they are. Hang on, hang on. You should Listen be. to... What did you say, Kerwin? I told him he should be. Sorry for who he is. The only thing bigger than your tie is your ego, Kerwin. All right. <laughs> and something The else. real quote, quoting here, Louis, I'm sorry for being a man um, because family and sexual violence is overwhelmingly perpetrated by men. That was the real quote. Kerwin, what did you think about this? I could perfectly well understand why the man feels ashamed to be part of, uh, well, the gender that he is. I mean, to take an analogy, if you're a Malaysian at the moment, um, with regard to what one of their diplomats got up to, I can well understand why they'd be ashamed of something which uh, somebody else sort of carried out what on their you, behalf. So what are you trying to say, sorry? I'm trying to say that when somebody who is part of a group that you're part of does something fundamentally wrong, you are perfectly entitled to feel a bit wrong about that. Having said that, however, countless remarks were well scripted, they generate a hell of a lot of media attention, and I can but hope this media attention starts a broader conversation about how we tackle domestic violence. All right, then. So on that note, on that note, Terry, did you think his comments were taken out of context, overblown? What did you think? Yeah. Or, or was it a failure to connect with what might, what might be seen as mainstream New Zealand? I think it's a shame that we focused on the apology as opposed to the issue. The issue is that women are suffering with, in statistics of domestic violence and sexual violence, which is largely per perpetrated by men. And that is what David Cunliffe was talking about. And I think, like Kerwin said, we have a space to have a conversation about the epidemic pro proportions that these problems are in New Zealand. And, and we right. need to take that opportunity. Jesse, I'll come to you, Sean. So, Jesse, what did you think of his comments? Did you think it was... Did you think it left the door open? Did it leave the door open for John Key, that, that political phenomenon, to, to jump in and say, look, I'm, I'm from a loving family, um, as, as most men are. You see, that's the, that's the thing. Yeah, I'm really proud of David Cunliffe's statement. I'm really proud of our policy. I think what he did was acknowledge the fact that it's a systemic and gendered issue. And he acknowledged that and owned it on behalf of the Labour Party and on behalf of all New Zealanders. And I think it's really, really important that the conversation has started. What is a shame is that old white men are running the conversation. A lot of men. <laughs> a lot of men didn't agree with him. And one of these guys is Sean Topham. What did you think? Um, I think New Zealanders have had a guts full of the media focusing on issues that don't matter. And that is a gaff. And that's all that matters. No, because the issue that matters... We've got to have an intellectual conversation about domestic violence. Focusing on a couple of words by David Cunliffe doesn't bring attention to the issue of domestic and sexual violence. But, but and but I'm like us, I do agree with my comments. The media he's, overblew it. Yeah, but, but he's just, uh, as Jesus was saying, he's owned it. He's saying on behalf of a man, this is wrong. You know, this is 80% of yeah, domestic I don't agree violence with this unreported. Statement. I don't agree with this statement, but I agree that we need to have an intellectual conversation about the issue. And sexual violence is overwhelmingly perpetrated by men. Yeah, and that's disgusting, and we need to do something about it. We need to have an intellectual so conversation. He, so he put his hand up and he owned it. Like the leader he is. Perhaps. You know yep. <laughs> Perhaps. I disagree. I, I disagree with his comment. I think it's interesting that Sean says we need to have an intellectual conversation. This isn't an intellectual conversation. It's an emotional conversation <laughs> that we need to be having. And we and we we, we need don't... to be proposing solutions. We need to be proposing solutions. And I actually can think I... there's an opportunity for all parties here to work together on a domestic violence and sexual okay. violence solution. Yeah.